Hey guys, you're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back to another midweek vlog. We gotta talk, come on. So we just left house number five, the last house that was on the list to view today. For, for today. And girl, mom is ready to put in an offer. Yes. <laughs> Somebody is excited. For those of you who watched my last midweek vlog and guessed that my mom had put an offer down on house five, you were absolutely correct. She was so excited about this house, you guys, so I wanted to include some footage of her initial reaction. And if you didn't happen to see my last vlog, please stop right here and go watch it. You really need to see that one first before watching this one. House number five was literally perfect for my mom. It had everything on her wish list and more. The house was already originally listed at 20K over budget, but when we placed our offer, we actually went 10K even above that because we were willing to make the sacrifice for the perfect house for her and even then we were still outbidded and our offer was declined our realtor jerome has been really key in this and really tried to get that offer to stick because he had a feeling that that house may have had multiple offers on it but in the end it just didn't work out so we've been really just trying to help my mom through the ups and downs of this process this was a huge disappointment for her but we are back at it so we're, we're on our way to um round three of house viewing and i got anthony with me and we're gonna have We're excited though, right, y'all? We are excited mm -hmm. to see these homes. I think we got two or three on the docket today. Yes. It's, how many is it? I'm not sure. He just said we're gonna start with that one. Oh, okay. We some more people, let me know. Okay. So. All right, so at least a couple. Um, so bringing you guys along, let's go. All right, here we are, house number six. A little over budget, but has an outdoor space, a finished basement, and move-in ready. It's kind of small, you guys, but I thought it was kind of cute from the outside, but definitely really, really cozy on the inside. Lots of stairs that did not seem to be evenly placed. Kitchen was probably the best part of the house, if I'm being honest. It had some really good lighting coming in there, even though it was so small. Um, it came around a corner and went down to the basement, which I noticed didn't have a whole lot of headspace. And they had carpet down there, which I thought was a little bit weird, but there was a nice bathroom and it had access to the laundry and blah 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 but as we were going back up the stairs that's when I really realized that these stairs were not constructed properly they were totally off it was kind of giving me vertigo noticed the same thing on the porch and um, yeah the rooms were kind of small um, you know a quaint little house not the end of the world but uh, someone would like it just not us I was just speaking to Anthony about when we were doing our house search process it did not happen quickly right I think we went out for at least five rounds of showings. You remember that, baby? Yeah. This is bringing back memories a little bit because Jerome is a part of it. I remember like going through this with him just a few years ago for us. So it's almost like deja vu. All right, we're pulling up to house number seven. It's a little over budget, but it does have a deck and a finished basement. And that was really about all this house had to offer. I mean, well, I will say that the solid hardwood floors were nice, right? Those are probably the original floors. They had been restained or whatever. They looked pretty good, but everything else required so much work to get it up to par. You could just tell the people who used to live here did not take care of this house. They really didn't clean it well. Even this nice deck was ruined by noise pollution with this freight train back here. But generally you could just tell that the maintenance and upkeep of this house was really poor and that's really the thing with a lot of these showings right you really need to get in there and get a feel a smell of the house before you commit to it or even get your hopes up too high because sometimes these listings are old pictures you guys pictures that are frankly not current you know photos of the home when it was at its peak and not necessarily the current state of the house in some of these cases it could be considered a little scammy but in most cases I think people just like the professionalism that you would expect from the home buying process and our realtor Jerome was just kind of explaining some of this to us so we're not discouraged we're just a little bit more aware and really just helping to inform our next move okay we're pulling up to house eight house number eight can you believe we've seen that many houses I don't like my neighbors already. Why you say that? Oh, look at all what they got going on. Oh my God, look at the flag. Okay, uh, look, they got the hat on the mailbox. 
they got the they got the leprechaun hat on the mailbox. Mm. Might be a little flip in the crib. <laughs> a little flip. They got a pile of trash on the side of the house, and then they got all the unnecessary St. Patty's Day decorations. They got the flag outside. I mean, you know, and you know, there's no excuse for being nasty. And they got newspaper on the window mm. for curtains. The people next door. All right, let's 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 sell paper at that. It ain't just newspaper. That's a sell paper. A sell paper. Let let's humor ourselves. Come on, let's go. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> All right, this was house eight. I'm really only showing you guys this just to be fair since we did visit this place, but this is not even gonna stay on our list of things to consider. This neighborhood was very disappointing and that's very unfortunate, but yeah, we're not considering this place. This would probably be okay if you were doing like a gut rehab project and just kind of using this as an investment property, but I would not wanna live here as is and hopefully one day this area will improve and then maybe the homeowners will take more pride in their yards and exteriors. Okay, we're back home. Oop, look at my camera. Hilton, let me put y'all on top of this box. Oh my God, we are so hungry. We're about to go have lunch. Uh, we got to pick up Ann first, and then we're gonna head to um, to go get lunch, and then do a little shopping and that sort of thing. And I'm gonna be vlogging, but it'll be in another vlog, not this one. What's up, Sansa girl? Hey, Sansa girl. She's like, y'all went to look at houses today. Y'all was looking at houses today. Y'all wanna see Sansa? We was looking at houses today, Sansa girl. Y'all was looking at houses today. What did y'all find a house today, Grandma? Did y'all find a house today? That's a girl. Uh, so Anthony, do you want the um, do you want French, Japanese, or Mexican, basically? Or we could go to Wildfire. They got salads and stuff. Let me touch up my lipstick really quick. You know what I'm saying? But so far, so good. Okay, y'all. Today, today's vlog is a little short um, because we got straight to business. Y'all already know what time it is. We had to get in there, whatever. So we saw three houses today. Um, waiting on mom to come out of the bathroom and she'll join in. We saw three houses today, y'all. Um, so now we are at the eighth house, right? We've seen eight houses so far since we started this. If you haven't seen previous vlogs leading up to this one to see the houses that we've seen previously, uh, I'll, I'll link them below. You guys can go and check them out. There are two other vlogs before this one. Um, but anyway, I gave y'all a rundown earlier on what had happened with my mom's first offer of the original house. Um, that she wanted so we're kind of like you know back at square one so house number six six seven eight we saw three today yeah house number six uh was what was house six? Oh, a mess okay super tiny right horrible curb appeal it looks like a super tiny house from the outside it was nothing charming or attractive about it we go in it's super cramped um the stairs were uneven kitchen was uninspiring um the yard really didn't have a like it, it looked like it didn't really even have grass that was really growing it makes me feel like grass was never there might have to get some sod to put down it was just not cute uh that basement was really small it was partially finished it was mostly finished but it wasn't finished well right it wasn't beautifully finished and the stairs leading into the basement were uneven and and you could feel it, especially walking back up, it threw off my equilibrium. Like I felt dizzy on those stairs because my feet understood that the ground wasn't level on every step and it was making me feel like I was about to fall. Speaking of falling, when, we, when I was exiting the house, I actually fell down the stairs coming out of the house. I fell down the stairs, y'all. I did not hurt myself. I fell, I guess, the right way. So I caught myself um, and I didn't get hurt. But I fell. Like, I literally fell down the stairs. <laughs> um, terrible. Anyway, we went to house number seven. Okay, um, house number seven was a disaster. It was beautiful from the outside when we walked up. I'm like, oh, okay, look at this curb appeal. You know, I was already thinking about landscaping ideas. Um, we get up inside that mug and it was just absolutely terrible. Mostly because it was poorly kept. You could tell the previous owners didn't clean properly ever and they never got things renovated. They never got things, you know, fixed. It was just, it was just bad. The kid, that stove, that stove was disgusting. Floors were disgusting. Um, you know, such a shame too, because it was a really nice house, right? But it needs to be gutted, right? So that was definitely a fixer upper project right there. Right, Ma, that second house we looked at? Yeah, today wasn't a good day. Today was bad. Today was really, really, like, today showed the worst of what is to be offered uh, at my mom's budget. House number three, and, and quickly I'll get through this so we can talk about something different. House number three, uh, or house number eight that we saw, um, house number eight that we saw today, the last house we saw, probably the worst of them all, 
smelly just nothing updated you know so i didn't even really give you guys much of a tour of any of these houses today because everything just looked really bad um, my mom had a long talk with jerome and they kind of like reassessed kind of what we what the budget should be going forward to see something that will be more aligned with her wish list so um you know back they went back to the drawing board um figured out a new budget uh new areas to look at and things like that and so that's where we are now so by the time you guys see the vlog that'll come after this one the next midweek vlog where we kind of pick up where we left off here with the house hunting we will be in a new area and we will be um at a different budget range so hopefully things will be a lot better but i'm glad we got to see what we saw what's that probably another package i am expecting some package yes i got y'all sitting on a package right now um uh she probably won't run out just make sure that the delivery guy is out of the way. Sansa looking all out the door, she wants to see. Um, so yeah, the, the next vlog, um, it'll be much different. And what was, I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so sometimes that's how it is in the house hunting process. There are lots of, um, you know, there are lots of ups and downs. There are disappointments. Like you're not just gonna come right in, find your dream house and just run with it. Sometimes you run into these obstacles and roadblocks. So I just wanted to share those things with you even though I know it's not ideal, it's not the most inspiring piece of content, but it's real and it's true. And this is actually what it looks like when you're buying a home, when you're house hunting, it looks like this. There'll be some things you can get and things you won't. There will be disappointment, there will be all of that. But in the end, it just makes the win so much sweeter when she does find um, the home of her dreams. So we're gonna just keep on looking, keep on trying. Um, our, you know, Jerome assured us, you know, not to give up, uh, that, you know, it takes time for this kind of stuff. And the type of market that we're in right now is actually more of a seller's market. Um, they are having a blast, girl. Sellers right now are just living the dream. And, you know, it's a lot of bidding wars and stuff going on. You said they're tripping? She said the sellers are tripping. You know, it's, it's like bidding, on the nice stuff is bidding wars happening, and then on the not so nice stuff, it's, it's, it feels overpriced and you don't want it, you know? So, it's, you know, it's a tripped out situation. I'm, I'm just gonna keep looking and just, um, um, like I say, you know, kind of raise the, raise the bar a little bit. I, I started with the, you know, something low, uh, not low, but, you know, Below conservative budget. yeah more, more conservative you know so see what happens but since the market has changed so i'm not going to stay there we'll we'll raise it and see what happens and then and also expand the areas where we're looking expand the areas and also um oh um uh uh kind of maybe consider some condominium if it's um within my liking yeah. See, yeah, she, the whole paradigm shift at this point, you know, but you, you don't know until you get out there and you see what was out there and you're like, oh, well, based on what I'm seeing, maybe I need to go this direction a little bit, you know, so, so you have to be open to changing your mind, you know, yes. it might not, it, you know, your goals and wish list at the beginning might not be what you end up with. You might have to do some compromising and stuff like that in order to make it happen for yourself. So I just wanted to share that little bit of um, advice for you all out there who might be in a similar situation or maybe you haven't embarked on um, home buying just yet and you need to know kind of the other side to all the glamorous, you know, people always share like, oh, this is the house I got, it's my dream house, but they don't tell you about all the letdowns and disappointments along the way in order to get to that point. Um, it is it is a circus out here, okay, it can be. So, all right, y'all, so that's it for today's vlog. You know, like I told y'all, these midweek vlogs be kind of short because they're very specific, but I just wanted to give y'all that update. Didn't want to leave y'all hanging. You know what I'm saying? Platty plat plat. Thanks for uh, joining me. Y'all like my hat, guys. What's up, YouTube? Oh, Real <laughs> cookies, baby. Let's get it. Do y'all like my outfit? They're like, girl, we don't care about your outfit. Okay, y'all. We're gonna leave now. Um, I'll see y'all Sunday, okay? I love you guys. Bye. Hehehehe. <laughs>